Hi, it's Teresa and Lost in Paper and I'm here for the dynamic die cutting hop with Alton U. So I thought I'd have a fun technique to share with you today using this ampersand die. I thought I'd share how to dry emboss with die cuts. Um, it is a fun and easy technique but not something that I do very very often so I thought I'd just talk you through a couple of different options and make a couple of Christmas cards. So to start with I need to create the element that I want to do the dry embossing with and this is the mega ampersand die so I'm going to cut it three times with some thick cardstock so this is the 110 pound cardstock and I'm just doing that through the normal die cutting machine with my normal thin wafer die cutting sandwich nothing very technical and fancy yet actually none of it is <laughs> it's a secret but don't tell anyone it is easy to do there are a couple of things to be aware of though the first thing is to work out how how deep you want your embossing or your debossing to be so this is actually going to be determined by how many layers of cardstock you put together and then this can actually affect the final look on your project so I'm just adhering them together with a tape runner because that's nice and quick and easy if I used I could use a liquid glue as well I would then just have to wait for it to dry so this means there's no waiting so now I've got a piece of green cardstock cut to the same size as my card front and I want this to be embossed so to make sure that it's going the correct way I've actually got my image facing the opposite way. Did you see how I worked out <laughs> which way to face it? Wasn't very technical either. I've used some removable adhesive just on the back to hold that in place while I run it through my machine. I've got a big shot here. I'm working on tab one. Now I'm going to use my metal shim. You can use any shim kinds of shim that you want. You could use cardstock. Um, I just happen to have the metal. I've got a base plate. Now I have my cardstock with my um, ampersand in place. So the ampersand's facing upwards. That means it's gonna push up against this silicon mat. So this is kind of the key to the whole thing. You need some sort of a soft mat or something for the um, to help give the impression into the cardstock. I've just put a top plate and then I'm going to run it through my machine. You shouldn't feel any resistance. It's actually fairly easy to run through and I do do it a couple of times just to help help get a better impression. And um, then I can just remove the ampersand die. If you do feel pressure on your machine then you need to stop and look at your sandwich. Right, so let's do it all again. <laughs> This time we're going to be using some Lagoon cardstock. It's the same thing again, but this time I want to deboss the image. So I'm actually facing it the way that I want it to sit or the, the normal way that the ampersand would sit. And I'm holding it in place again with some removable adhesive and going to run my sandwich again. So it's tab one, metal shim, uh, base plate, ampersand with the cardstock on top and then my silicon mat and a top plate and run it through making sure there's no resistance and I'll run it through a couple of times. Easy peasy. The thing to be aware of as well is if you do try and make your element too thick it might crack your cardstock. Certain cardstocks are going to react better and differently so it does pay to sort of play with your um, mixtures of shims of how many layers you actually put on your element that you've die cut and the cardstock that you're wanting to get the impression on so lots of little factors to take into account but it's not difficult and I think the effect is awesome so I want my sentiment on both of my cards They're actually going to be very similar cards just um, different color schemes so I want my sentiment to read merry and bright and I thought the ampersand is an awesome mega die to have because you could do Mr and Mrs, you and me, um, 
anything forever and always whatever words you want <laughs> the um, I did also what heat and boss uh, the word bright that one's from the starry night set and the holiday wishes is where I got the word Mary from all these little flowers and leaves are die cut from the layered uh, what's it called it's the I'm having a moment layered floral elements die it's a new that's why I don't know the word oh <laughs> well, yeah it's a new set and I'm using it all the time I'm loving it because it's a, a set that can be used for any time of year but I think it works well for Christmas too doing lots of different layers and just using um, foam, foam squares tape runner but uh, glue dots and layering up my flowers and I think these cards turned out real pretty this is part of a hop so you do have a chance to win so if you head through the link below you will find out how you can win a gift certificate and also the links to the rest of the people on this hop for lots more inspiration and lots more chances to win i really like the lagoon version this blue most of these card stocks i've used today are the old new ones which i just love and that's pretty much it thanks so much for joining me here today i've had a blast if you like this video please like it if you haven't already i would love it if you subscribe to my channel till next time happy paper crafting bye <laughs>